Stanthorp is about a two and a half hour drive southwest of Brisbane along the Cunningham Highway and 15 minutes from the New South Wales border. The name Stanthorp is derived from two old English words, Stanham meaning tin and Thorpe meaning village. The area was originally developed as a mining town in the mid 1800s, however it wasn't long before grazing properties were settled and then in the 1950s the first wine grapes were grown. What sort of grapes have you got growing on these vines? These are Shiraz, which make uh, dry red table wine. Right, eh? And are they almost ready for harvesting? They're getting very close. We'll crush and make the wine uh, within about a month. And then it's a question of ageing the wine in oak for probably 18 months yep. before bottling and probably some bottle age. So it'll be two, two to three years before it's released. About 20 of Stanthorpe's wineries, including Commonos Wines, will be involved with the Apple and Grape Harvest Festival. And one of the highlights during the festival this year, as in previous years, is undoubtedly the grape crushing competition, where individuals or teams crush grapes with their bare feet, and of course the first one to fill up the bottle is the winner. So I had to get a few tips from one of the best in the business prior to the big event. A lot of people think that because you crush the grape, you've got to go like this, you know? Yeah, like an all-black No, no, no. <laughs> it's a movement. You push it down, and you bust the berries in your toes. Ooh. So, push. <laughs> Not jump, just push and squeeze. How long have you been, have you been doing it for, Sam? Uh, 36 years. 36 years? Yes, since I was three years old. <laughs> <laughs> and where was that? It's a home here at, the, at, the, at, at Stanford. Stanford. <laughs> yeah. I was born in Australia, still got the accent, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then you get the bit here and you go, it's not bad, you've got it all. <laughs> you tried. I get where my feet haven't been. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> but only in small doses. I don't think I've got Sam's stomach. It's not just the wine and the grapes that the people of Stanthorpe are proud of. This time of the year also brings out the best in their apples. And this should keep the doctor away for another day. Too good. This apple shed is owned by one of the biggest growers in Stanthorpe, the Mattiazzi family. The main apple in harvest now is the Royal Gala, and that's not a bad one. But other varieties include the High Early, the Summer Dell, and of course, the good old Jonathan. And if, as I was told, the redder the apple, the better, I reckon you'd be sure to get a good one here. To taste test the best fruit and wine South East Queensland has to offer, then head to Stanthorpe this weekend for the Apple and Grape Harvest Festival. It's on now and runs until next Sunday, with the grand finale being the multicultural carnival and wine fiesta on Sunday afternoon.